in this case, there wouldn't be a proper transfer of energy. A usual mistake with which you should be careful is not to extend the hand in the grip as shown. Holding like this, you cannot press that ska over your fingers correctly and creates a tension, easily felt near the elbow and in the insertion of the extensor of the hand. Instead of it, the grip should be soft and the arm should be relaxed, just like your forearm, shoulder and before the draw, your hara. Keeping the hara relaxed before the draw is a very important point for those who are developing the speed in the draw. After that, both your arms should be extended and taken to the front of you. This movement cannot be avoided. Some practitioners just try to draw the sword with the right hand only and directly from the initial posture, thinking that it would make the draw faster. But the sword, if it comes out of the saya, touches and presses the internal parts of the saya and the draw is not smooth nor fast. If we were talking about a shinken, a real sword or a real blade, there would still be the risk of damaging your saya and even hurting yourself. Pull the left hand backwards in this movement called saya biki, that means pulling the saya. It is the basis for a clean draw since you describe a triangle with both your hands and your hara and you will have the condition to point it at wherever you need with the hara and have control of the sword when it gets out of the saya. You shall only rotate the sword and the saya as a preparation for the kesanuki, the diagonal draw, after this pulling movement of sayabiki. As you can see, the primary supports for everything in Yaijutsu are the hara and the back, through which the power from the hara will flow. This instant is extremely interesting if you're practicing with a feeling of shingen shobu, or the feeling of fighting a combat of life or death with real swords, aiming the practice of the jutsu as empirical as possible. The hara should be very well fit in your bases and the back has to be always straight. The shoulders should be aligned and the scapulas and shoulder relaxed. Do not contract your biceps or it will contribute to stop the desired movement. The action of the hara comes as a pressure that should reach the right shoulder from the back. As your arm is naturally extended and relaxed, the pressure reaches the hand and the kisaki, the tip of the sword. This pressure gives the first and primary condition to shape the movement of the draw and cut efficiently without interruption. From this, we can understand the link between your hara and the hand. If you succeed to put your key in the palm of your hand instead of locking it in your shoulder, this link will be extended to the tsuka and, at last, to the kisaki. After drawing, emphasize the outer, young part of your arm, forearm and hand and the grip should be felt as very consistent, although not tense. Keep the pressure from the hara until the sword and rotate your hips. Be careful about the angle of the hamon, a part of the blade, the cutting part. It should be directed to the same angle of the whole movement. In the case of Tamishigiri, the study and practice of real cuts in specific objects, in the instant of the impact, the muscles sustaining the elbow should contract according to the movement because we would have the maximum distance with the stretched arm and the kisaki the furthest in the movement. This would overload the elbow that is not set as the shoulder is in the torso. One thing is to cut the air, others to perform real cuts, as they should be with the proper breathings, internal movements of the hara and so on. But this would surely be a matter for another class. The same about the impact happens in the nukitsuke forms, in opposition to the nuki forms only, in which it is not considered the impact in the draw. In this final posture, elbow and wrist should have natural angles, and the link and influence of the hara should be kept. The arm should be kept nearly straight, thus supporting the forward pressure in the cut that the hara does. This explains how we can have the needed depth that some cuts require, still with precision, the arms only sustain the hara that is the main cause of this expansion in the depth.